ladies and gentlemen what it do it's your host the smoothest thing is in the gaming industry bringing you another patient review on the youtube channel hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed god-given day and yes this is another series i didn't finish now i did play the game i did play the game extensively and i did enjoy this game before we get into it but just let me say one thing and one thing only because i don't enjoy a game or because i do enjoy a game or whatever my opinion is this is not the end all be all i have a lot of people who say should i play this game should i not play a game this is not the end all be all please experience the game for yourself and take the time to please play the game and understand it and relish in it by yourself now with that out of the way with that being said let me just say real quick that this game is one of the most enjoyable games that i've ever played from a visual standpoint and just from a talking to different characters standpoint the game is very creative it looks amazing it just is a blast to play in a sense of the creativity the exploring it's everything you would expect from people who made the fallout series and that actually leads me into one of the first critiques of this game and that is simply <laughs> that it's just like fallout it just feels the exact same as most of the fallout games that we played before just kind of in a new setting now that's not bad i think that's really enjoyable and i think most people will enjoy it however i think that it can hold it back from going creatively and interestingly that it could be i guess if that makes sense and that's just simply because the game heavily relies on what it's done successfully in the past and again that's not a bad thing it just sometimes holds you back from using new methods of creating new art and new video games in this case now what do i really really like about the game or where do i think it excels in that aspect of what it does really well and what these developers have done really well and that just simply is the storytelling it grips you every decision you make feels like it's meaningful it feels fun it feels enjoyable to talk to these characters they're very fleshed out the facial animations could be a little bit better but they feel fleshed out they feel alive, they feel invigorating, and they feel like they all have their own background and why they interact and intermingle in the world that feels very, very important to the lore and the understanding of the world. However, for somebody like me, I just simply don't have the time nor the resources and just really just the time, to be honest with you, to play and go through everything at this moment with this game. I just don't have that right now. And that just kind of really bugs me because I wish I would have played this game earlier and in the state of playing the game and understanding the game a little bit more when I had the time to do that. And I just want to kind of apologize for that. I didn't play this game when it came out and me going through and doing the in-depth review that I usually do and taking my time playing the whole game that I usually go through and do, I wasn't able to do with this game with something like I do with Cyberpunk or something I would do with like a game like Skyrim. I just don't have the time to do it. But my playthrough and my time spent with this game was really really enjoyable and i found it to be really really fun now with that being said this game never really intrigued me to really want to play it more and that simply comes from the fact that i can tell that it is a double a uh, I, I really almost say step up from an indie game type of game and that's not their fault it's not something that i'm pushing on them with the budget of this game with the people working on this game and the ideas and the manpower behind the game I understand why it's like this and it's really even good and it exceeds expectations for that level of game but i just don't enjoy games like this i enjoy fleshed out games games that really suck me into the world pull me into the world give me a reason to keep playing it and to keep going and that's why i think this is just how titanfall 1 was for me where i enjoyed the game i played it a lot but i found myself ended up going back to games that were just more fleshed out because they were just more enjoyable for my time and i felt like it gave me more bang for my buck when i played the game this game while it is great and while it is good it is very short it kind of shortcuts some things such as the spaceship in the mini map just kind of going over instead of the spaceship kind of flying and giving you an animation for it it kind of feels like half-assed like destiny 1 and destiny 2 felt with their spaceships where you don't really get to use your spaceship you just get to watch it in a loading screen even in this game you don't even get that so that's very disappointing but again, I understand why the game is like that. I understand how it's like that. 
and why they were able or not able but why they had to do it this way but again it's very disappointing and it kind of makes me want to go play a game like no man's sky even though no man's sky didn't start off this great it's good now and it makes me want to go play a game like that because this is what this game really reminds me of when you look at the space and the technology and everything and at this point outer worlds just kind of doesn't live up to that itch that i want to get for sci-fi well as no man's sky really does that for me now i'm not trying to compare these games not trying to knock these games but what i am saying is that the outer worlds one this game right here sets up perfectly for the second one the second one to me is going to be exactly like how titanfall 2 was the titanfall one where they had this fundamental understanding and this fundamental grasp of what they wanted to do they tested out some things but i feel like in the second one they're going to build upon it add some things and fix some things that really need to be fixed with it and with the budget that microsoft has now given them and the dlcs which are so so good i don't have any gameplay of those but i played them i feel like this game is going to be an absolute blast to play coming out on the second one now again i really want to state this about this game and i really want to show some love to it because i don't hate this game and i do like this game i simply just do not have the time to really delve into it like i would have liked to do and i just don't feel like sometimes it really gives me that incentive to even really want to delve into it like i would want to do simply because of the fact that it's a really short game it's really like a, again it's really a fundamental game to set precedent for another game and to set precedent for the dlcs which really fleshed it out even more i just again i don't really have the time to really delve into it and put hundreds of hours into the game it's just not something that i really want to do now i did enjoy the gunplay in this game it was fun as hell to get new weapons there's different creative weapons like the ray gun the science weapons there's good automatic weapons there's good lmgs i love the companion system i didn't think i was gonna like the companion system i'm usually a solo do it by myself type of guy other than in red dead i really don't like companions on missions i feel like the ai is always bad usually not very fun uh, and not very useful but in this game it is one of the first games i have found a lot to do Provardi and all of those people were really fun to use even the robot was really fun to use and really enjoyable the fact that you could click buttons and use their abilities give them weapons upgrade their armor was really really fun to do and i enjoyed that very much but there was no incentive to really keep doing that in a later on in the game and i had an issue with that but other than that man i really enjoyed my time with this game i really think it's a fantastic game you guys should definitely check this out if i had to give this a rating i would give this a solid 8 out of 10 with the dlcs without the dlcs i would say about 7.5 out of 10 let me know what you guys think in the comment section below thank you for watching this thank you for watching this series bless up as always god bless and i'll see you guys in the next one